I'm here to inspire you all to think about innovation. We've heard some great speeches this evening, but my job is to inspire you all to start thinking and generating ideas. So the first question is, what is innovation? And what do I mean by innovation? So let me take you back on the journey that everybody is taking you back today. 25 years ago, when I was five years old, in front of an MS-DOS computer, and to click, the incredible machine. Does anybody know this game? Maybe some of you may know it. This was a game on MS-DOS that you had to, the, the, the goal was to get the ball into the hole or the balloon to pop. You had to perform a very simple task using the, two, the tools that they gave you. This is following a Rube Goldberg concept. I only found out about him recently, but I spent hours playing this game. So this is Rube Goldberg. He uses very complex solutions for completing simple tasks. So we're going to see what it looks like. The goal is to get the ball I spent hours and hours going to level to level. It's gonna happen, and we're done, and we're almost done. And super simple, right? Super straightforward. What the hell am I talking about? What does this have to do with innovation? This was me at five looking and seeing how I could solve a problem with what they threw in front of me. So, just like Nicola threw all her plastic, I would look at that and be like, what can we do? Our development challenges these days are rapidly in changing. Every day our challenges are increasing. Just like technology changes, so do the challenges that we're trying to solve. But we've been doing this a, the, a different way for a long time. We're, we've been going along the same path. We want to get the problem solved, so we're going to walk slowly down and get the problem solved. But the pro by the time we found the solution, the problem's already changed. So we're trying at UNDP now to change how we do work and how we innovate. Sitting down in my computer at my MS-DOS, the one computer the whole family had that the university had given us because my dad worked there, it was, I learned three things. That there are multiple solutions to the same problem. To get the ball from point A to point B, there are many, many ways to do it. You could kick the ball straight. You could pass the ball from person to person. You could throw it up in the air and run and catch it and throw it up in the air and run and catch it. There are different ways to solve problems. The second thing I lost, I learned, is that solutions do not have to be complex. So while they gave us all these random things to get the ball in the hole, we could find straightforward solutions to, for, these, for our problems. The third thing I learned is that you can get very lost in coming up with ideas. There is so much creativity. You have these challenges, you have these problems, and we can sit for hours and talk and brainstorm and throw post-its on the wall to find these ideas. And that's what excites me. Exci what excites me is this innovation, is this process of finding ideas. So, who plays with Legos? Who has ever played with Legos? Who has ever stepped on a Lego and felt the pain of stepping on a Lego? Yes, you all know it. So why am I talking about Legos? Lego is ahead of the game when it comes to innovation. They innovate inward and they innovate outward. They have been trying to find, they create a space. That Legos have been designed out of failure, believe it or not. It was a failed project that is now a multi-million dollar business. But they have f decided that they're going to create a space for people to learn through these little tiny plastic painful blocks. You can do so much with a Lego. You can create underwater worlds. You can create castles. You can create ships. And you can sit and watch children sit and come up with the most amazing thing by just these square blocks. We want to be Lego. We want to be those innovation spaces. We want to create that environment that you can come and play with the Legos and find the solutions. With our buckets of Lego, you can tell any story. You can build an airplane. You can build a dragon. You can build your face. You can build the Eiffel Tower. We want to be able to create a Lego space and find all these solutions and bring people together into that space. The key to our approach, and UNDP is starting one of 60 accelerators across the globe. This is the world's fastest growing learning network, and it's all about collective learning and knowledge sharing. We want to make sure, though, that at the center of it all is humans. At the end of the day, it is about all of us and each of us and how it impacts our, our everyday lives. We want to innovate 
for us and for you all. So I'm inviting you on this journey. We need ideas. We need more Joshua's. We need our friends from Oasis Laboratory making fabulous jewelry out of sargassum. We need the fisherwoman who has designed, designed uh, technology in her basement, in her backyard. We need the mobile desalination unit that's the size of a wine fridge. We need the ideas. So I am challenging you all to develop those ideas and bring them to us, to find the spaces. And this, these are not necessarily new ideas. The innovation has been happening. We want to help boost that innovation. They don't, the solutions don't have to be super complex. You don't have to punch the button to get the, lo- the, the things to spin for the bowling ball to go for the doorbell to ring. But if that's what it has to happen, that's what we need to do. And so we are encouraging you and we're challenging you all in the audience tonight and all of you online, we're challenging you all to come up with those ideas, bring those ideas to the table. This conversation is not just about today. This is the beginning of something that can really make great impact. As the Bayesians say, this is a we thing. We need to do it. Uh, the blue economy, the green economy, the colors of the economy, the rainbow economy. We need to start bringing those conversations, moving from the conversations to action. So join us on this journey. And thank you. <laughs>